Hi everyone, Dan here. Today I wanted to show you how to unlock your GTX 600 uh, series graphics card. Uh, right now I'm using the GTX 660 OEM edition. It's got like 1.5 uh, gig gigabytes of GDDR5 uh, memory. Uh, it's an older card, but I just wanted to unlock it just for fun. I've done this a few times now, and um, if you're safe, you know, if you play by the rules, don't be stupid with it. Uh, you won't have a problem, um, I swear. And as long as you do it the exact way I'm doing it, you will not have one problem. Right, so the first thing you want to do is, I'm going to put two links in the description. One's going to take you to the KGB Kepler uh, Golden BIOS. Um, and basically what this is, is what is going to unlock your graphics card. So, and you're going to need to get download NV Flash. Uh, make sure it's the latest edition because it's much easier to use the latest. Um, and then you want to simply cr create a folder on your desktop called Flash Tools just to make it easy. Um, and uh, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is download this, put it to my desktop, and make sure it's in uh, the Flash Tools folder. Same goes for Kepler BIOS. You'll get a link straight to the site, so it won't matter for you, you won't have to do this. Okay, so once you're here, you just want to scroll down. This is just the dude that uh, developed it. Um, and you want to right click on the latest and open a new tab. And you can just go to Dropbox and download it. It's three years old, but these uh, GTX 600 series graphics card are old. Now they're like three generations behind. Um, or four now, I think. Uh, okay, so we do put that in Flash Tools. And now what you want to do, you want to... Um, uh, highlight them both and extract them to uh, the folder so you will need WinRAR just go ahead and download that and now you're gonna have two folders so you can get you're gonna go in them control A control X back control V delete that folder go into this folder highlight them all control X back control V um, and then you've basically got the files you need to flash your uh, your BIOS the the last thing you're going to need is uh, GPU-Z because you're going to need to get your BIOS that you're running right now and put it inside of this folder so that you're basically so the flashing tool knows where your ROM is. Um, so it's, sim it's as simple as downloading GPU-Z, again it will be in the description, clicking this little icon here, save to file, again you want to go back to the desktop, to flash tools, and then I'm. You can rename it. Um, this is basically the uh, BIOS code name. Um, now I'm just gonna name it OC dot rom. So it's just overclock dot rom. And as you can see, it saved it. It shows you how big it is. And okay. And you can back out of that. Um, and now what you wanted to do is go into the KGB dot config uh, with Notepad plus plus or uh, text editor. That's what I use. Uh, notepad. And basically, what this is here, this is the kind of um, this is the text document that holds all the information of your flash. So, as you can see here, it has uh, it has the where the hashtags are, wherever you. So, for example, if I would put the hashtag here, back that up. Basically, you could go all out only, but make sure if you go all out on the voltage, guys, you have got uh, sufficient cooling. Because if you haven't, your card's going to get too hot and then you're going to throttle. Um, so, uh, my cooling's decent, so uh, I'm going to go for, uh, to 1.2 volt. But again, you can go to 1.21 uh, if you have the sufficient cooling. Um, I don't have a very good fan on my 660, so I'm just going to keep it as that. The default is, is the uh, 1.8, um, but that's for people with like real bad cooling. Um, now always make sure guys that when you you make sure your graphics card does not um, exceed like 80 degrees because if it does it's going to start throttling and yeah it won't be fun you're going to have to do this process again uh, either back up your BIOS um, so basically create two copies of your BIOS to go back to if, if, if it throttles or you can step by step go back through the voltages until you stop thermal throttling um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's as easy as removing the hashtag. 
I haven't bothered with any of these settings here, um, but if you have one of them cards that's like locked at 100 max power target and locked at 80 max fan, you, you're uh, covered because um, this uh, text document allows you to unlock it. Now the max boof boost frequency I never mess with, I just leave it to what it is. Uh, now you can simply close it and save. Um, and now is the bit that gets a little bit tricky. Um, it used to be a bit harder, but they've uh, NV Flash has been updated and it's easier now. So what we're going to do is close this folder. I'm going to move that to the side. Right click on your Flash Tools folder. Just simply right click. And you want to click Open Command Window here. And then you want to type kgb.exe space what you named your ROM as. So in my case, OC.ROM. And then space unlock make sure unlock is all lowercase and as you can see it's oh, there's my voltage table uh, if you scroll up here it will say uh, BIOS found uh, where is it there we go check some good if it doesn't say good um, you're probably you're basically uh, it's had a BIOS mismatch and I do not recommend you doing this at all because you will brick your card um, so make sure that says good uh, I'm gonna then you can simply um, close this window, open back Flash Tools, and now because this your ROM is flashed now, all you need to do uh, no sorry your your uh, ROM is modded now uh, or unlocked. You have to now flash it. So you simply um, hold it and drag it onto NV Flash. Uh, if you've got a 32-bit um, operating system, drag it onto there. If you haven't, use 64-bit here, and you just let go. Your screen will go back black, but don't worry, guys. That's all normal. Um, now is my recording still? Because uh, it could have messed up. One second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. My recording's fine. So, um, if you've got a second monitor like I do, all of your things that you've got on the second monitor are going to be budged to your first monitor. But no need to worry. Also, if you've got Afterburner on, yeah, it goes a bit uh, insane. But just don't worry. This is they're not actual readings. They're just uh, bugged, I guess. Um, so as you can see here in the command prompt it says update display adapter firmware and it says current and replace again if there's any mismatch here do not flash because you will brick your card um, and then simply just press Y for yes and it will make a loud beeping noise which scared the shit out of me the first time but okay okay so as you can see the command prompt will just disappear um, but everything's back to normal now um, what you will need to do is uh, before you start to test the flash so if you go to GPU Z um, and before anybody goes uh, insane uh, I'm going to show you my sensors my temperature is high as hell right now on idle because I've had to turn the fan speed down so I could record this because it would be freaking loud um, so basically how this is going to work is that if you bring up any first off restart your PC which I haven't done yet but I'm going to show you through the steps uh, now so I'm going to get MSI after burner up where the heck is it uh, here it is uh, and you're going to have to put the power limit dependent I think this is depending on your power supply to be honest don't be worried when mess uh, when using an MSI afterburner because it's very user friendly and uh, your card ain't just going to explode um, so if I put this to 110 uh, and press apply um, and then do the stress test so if I click uh, render test yeah come along to here uh, this is most likely going to go to 1.2 volts um, but the only thing is I haven't restarted my PC yet so as you can see it's kind of dropping going all over the place because this is my default factory uh, max voltage uh, so this is like the lock also uh, the more voltage you put into these uh, Kepler GPUs the more uh, core clock you're going to get on the boost uh, so you've just got an, you're just basically getting free power here guys um, so uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys um, also uh, unlocking the voltage does give you more headroom for overclocks but you know obviously be careful you know that's just normal overclocking uh, rules you know don't go absolutely insane um, but yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, if you did enjoy this tutorial be sure to hit that like button and if you have any questions at all be sure to ask me in the comments because I'll help you ASAP um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.